Welcome everyone back to Assassin's Creed Unity. This game has been fantastic thus far. We're jumping into it yet again, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to be exploring the beautiful world of Paris, France. Man, this looks gorgeous. Thank you guys for leaving all the tips in the last video, the advice and such. You guys did amazing. We're gonna check this out actually. Let's do this. Kill the target. I can kill them any way I want. That'll be fun. You guys gave me some really good parkour advice that I will be using. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Ooh, that's so fun. You really have to switch between holding RT and holding RT and A or RT and B. Okay, just take him out right here, actually. Why not? Easy. Let's grab this chest while we're here. I'm guessing this is like a co-op thing because I know that this game was multiplayer. Yeah, two players max. I think co-op's still available. Like, I think you can still do it. Um, I think this chest is up a bit more. Probably in here. Let's see. Go in there. Yeah. More money. Should we go to the next mission? Why not? Should be this way. Let's go this way. Man. Why would you even use the ground in this game? It just doesn't make any sense. Ooh, so fun. Let's try that. Oh, he actually caught it. That was insane. I wonder if that's where the, um, that's Notre Dame, right? Apparently Ubisoft helped with the reconstruction process of, um, them rebuilding it after that fire. I think it was caught on fire, right? Recently? few years ago. I think it's almost done, by the way. Let's go this way. I could have sworn there was a way to get up. I guess I can use this. Oh, yeah, this is right here. Oh, there we go. I knew that there was a pretty decent way up. How do I? Oh, that's how to wall eject. It hasn't really changed. It's just I haven't played Assassin's Creed in a while. So it feels fresh. Let's go this way. Can I climb up there? I don't feel like I can. Not there. Not there either. Maybe somewhere. Oh, here we go. On this side. It's like a small puzzle. Oh, I got some money from the cafe. Nice. There is like a little tutorial that I can watch for the parkour if I want to. I don't know if it's necessarily going to make me better at it or not, but 
I might watch it after this episode. Look at that, man. Look at that. I wonder if we're going to see the Statue of Liberty in this game. All right, let's go down. Might be the best leap of faith in the series. The armies of the Prince Bishop and his allies now threaten our brothers in liege. The young Republic cannot withstand the might of the Habsburg machine for long. Should they seek shelter in France, will not turn them away. A few onlookers were seen at yesterday's representation of the Barbre de Seville. It is believed in light of recent events that the upper crust aura surrounding the outlandish playwright Bo Markai has kept merry makers at bay. Unknown rogues have made off with a selection of the crown jewels as these are part of the treasury of France. Those guilty are not only thieves but traitors. Report any suspicious pawners at once. Citizen Maribo has won election to the Post of President of the National Constitution Assembly. After a long, varied, and mostly distinguished career, the respect he has earned from all sides should help France get things done. While the appeal of owning a piece of the Bastille may first favor with some misguided few, the Royal Director of Buildings is of a different and certainly legally superior opinion. He asks that you please desist in the practice. Well, I'm about to be butchering words, y'all. That's what I was not excited about. I was like, oh, man. Saying French words, it's going to be really hard for me. They want me to buy skills and stuff. I have done some side quests. Maybe I should do some more. I guess I could do this one. I don't really know how much levels are going to really matter. Now that was cool. This is the first time that you've had to like level your character up. You could pretty much like play the whole entire Assassin's Creed game before this one. Like without upgrading anything. <laughs> you could have the worst sword in the game and just play like it's nothing. Like you'll obviously you will notice that when you get better swords, things are a little easier, but not by much. But in this game, it probably matters a lot more. Is this it? Oh, but I gotta, gotta get away from these guys, I guess. What's this over here? I did see that we did a side quest for Madame Tussaud. And I've been to that museum in Los Angeles. There's one here. In our profound conviction, the Grand Master of the Order of the Templars worshipped the Baphomet and caused it to be worshipped by their initiates. Yes, there existed in the past and there may still be in the present. Assemblies which are presided over by this figure with head of goat, seated on a throne and crowned by a flaming torch between its horns. Attend the secret ritual of the cult of Baphomet and assassinate the Templars found there. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Why not? Let me, I guess I can buy skills. I would get stun grenades. I don't really want that. Oh, that looks cool. I'll get that. Why not? 
Oh, no. Please, dude, no. Leave me alone. Scare the bullies? Why are they doing that? Hey, 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 oh, 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 oh. He deserved that. I'm an advanced trainee now. Uh oh. My bad. It's so much easier to escape guards now. Which is kind of nice. They're less of a nuisance. Hey, what? Why'd you not swing like that? Excuse me, people. All right, what's going on over here? That's them over there. Oh, over there. I think at least. Hey, what's going on here? There's just a chest here, but I can't open it. It's locked. Where's the cult at? Oh, right here. A new initiative. We're using the chalices you stole in tonight's ritual. Enter. Sisters and brothers of Baphomet, we here dedicate the life of our beloved. Lots of attractive women this year, eh? Oh, he's still dead. So I just walk right past them? Actually, I'm going to go this way. This is kind of creepy. I don't like this. The revolution is suppressing the cult of Catholics that has for so long suppressed us. It's most revealing. He who sows the wind harvests a storm. I can't go that way. This is a little maze. So scary. Oh no. That guy didn't like me. this guy okay we killed them all what in the world is that can I pick that up yes I can what can I loot off of them just money barely any money I don't think I can actually I can I can free run ah oh, I totally forgot about that all right I'm out of here I'm glad you don't have to turn those quests in. That's kind of nice. Uh oh. 
No, I'm good. I am so good. I just want this chest. Oh, hi. <laughs> Did you see how she pushed him? I think we should be able to do this mission. Should be possible. Cross. Oh my god, he literally clears rooftops like it's nothing. One of the men who murdered M. de la Serre is meeting a client at Notre Dame. Find out what he knows and kill him. I gotcha. We can do that. What's our plan? Our plan. You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. Yeah, I kind of am. Devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. No targets unreachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell was Duchesneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Sivert I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! <laughs> and if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best. Assassin. I mean, I kind of like the Altair approach, though. Explore the area, create opportunities, unique kills. That sounds fun. How do I do that? Complete side objectives to create new mission opportunities. Okay, I'll do all of them then. Why not? Well, that'll let me. What do I need to do here? I need to steal from them. Turn the color of an aubergine. Oh, it faint with outrage. Well, seeing as how I stole his keys, why not raid the Archbishop's wine cellar? You never. <laughs> to reason and freedom from superstition. Hear, hear. They may have signed the civil Blood. constitution, but everyone knows Blood. that bishops are in bed with the royalists. That HUD is so clean when you change your equipment. They may have signed the civil constitution, but everyone knows the bishops are in bed with the royalists. Oh, drink. Oh, wait, what? An ultra boy. Oh, no, 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 no. On this course. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Dang it. I gotta fight him. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh no, oh no, oh no. His body's going downstairs. 
I just want to loot him. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna do the other one. Oh god, this guy's behind me now. I'm gonna blend in with the crowd. The crowds are insane. I think that is one of the highlights of this game. Oops, sorry, dude. can't jump in there Stop. I wanna talk to you. no I'm good I don't want to be talked to where is this guy going the stealth bye oh check that out there's a exclamation point towards the back right there I wonder if that's for the unique assassination. I don't know. What's the best way to get around this? We need to get in there. I remember there was an open window before on one of the missions that we did. I don't know if it's still open though. I don't think I'm going in this way. That's too risky. There's got to be a way up. What's in this chest? Here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's real nice. Hi. Maybe I could kill him right here. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. I see there's a confession booth. Maybe he goes in there at one point. No, that's not what I wanted to do. 
Uh oh. I didn't even see you. It sucks you can't whistle anymore. Next time. Very clever. Can you pick up bodies in this game? No? What can I do with this? Oh. I'm just going to sit in here then. Maybe he comes over here. I think he's coming. Hopefully he doesn't see that body. We're just going to assassinate him in here. Hopefully. All right. One of the guards left. Let's see how close this one gets. Oh, man. They see the body. This dude is freaking out. He's freaking out. He's shaking in his boots. Look at him. Uh, what the? The AI. The AI is going nuts. There was nothing letting me know that I could pick up a body. So I'm like, I don't think I'm able to do that. Dude, what the heck? Oh my God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He might still. He's still coming in here. Something's not right. Everything's in place. Finally saw reason, did he? <laughs> Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. What the heck is this? In there, Monsieur Latouche. I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. Is this what he was doing prior to coming here? The intrigues of rats. Pompous fool. If I could lay my hands on him. Well, what's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? You're all right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. See there, come away! Ooh. That was amazing. What was that, though? That's a new vision. Usually you have a conversation with them. This is the first assassin that's had like something different there. All right, I need to get out of here. I don't think I can go up. The unique assassin was really cool. Yeah, the assassination was fun. Well, it says there's stairs over here on the other side. Oh, ran right into that. Um, what about this way? Crap. I need to get out of here. Trying to look for a good way to get out of here. All right, well, we got rid of them. Here we go. All right, then. We did that. Now we're going to escape the area and we're good. He was shaking in his boots. You guys saw that. 
That was funny. Jesus, Deacon, do you read? What the hell is that? I'm here, Bishop. That's a server sweep. of servers looking for you, and they're close. Damn it. Can you open a server bridge? Hey, come on, it's me. Already on it. Couple of seconds. Initiate. We're opening a server bridge. So that Sean is Deacon. Pass through before the suite finds you. Got it. Go. Do you see it? They're hard to miss. Jumping from one Helix server to another should buy you a few more hours. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Well, we're not screwed. It's your initiate that gets the brunt. Deacon, you're not helping. Oh man, the controller is vibrating, let me tell you. The way the weather just changed right now, insane. Can I make that? You guys think I can make that? I don't know. Let's try it. Woo! Kinda. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Jump! So Arno can see the past. Like wrongdoings. The signal's holding. Good. Of his targets? We're waiting outside the main simulation now. This will throw Abstergo off your trail for a while, but you'll also run into a lot of incomplete and corrupted code. Which probably explains why the people here aren't quite here. Oh, I see that. Hmm. Looks like the late 1800s. Now, this is a Paris I wouldn't mind visiting. I know. Look at the Eiffel Tower. Right now, you need to get to the exit portal. I can't see a path through, though. See if you can find a route underground. They just had, had to put that Eiffel Tower in this game somewhere. They were like, man, they were probably like, this sucks. We're not in the era where we can have the Eiffel Tower. We just need to incorporate it somewhere, somehow. We have to. Literally, the beautiful age is the name given to the period between 1871 when the Franco-Prussian War end ended. In 1914, when the First World War began, once France was forced to endure the wars and hardship of the 20th century, it was nostalgically thought of as a golden age, both prosperous and peaceful. A better name for it would have been the, if they only knew what was coming. <laughs> okay. Paris, already referred to as a city of light, grew in size and economic power thanks to technological advances. The Parisian quality of life improved as well and they didn't even have social networking then come to think of it maybe it was a good time to be alive after all yeah yeah maybe hashtag banter the 1889 world's fair exemplified the spirit of the times and marked the construction of the eiffel tower a symbol of france's new engineering prowess and of the beautiful age itself just as iconic as the paris metro whose construction began in 1898 in which opened to the public two years later. However, these weren't the first grand accomplishments of the era. The Statue of Liberty, there it is, was built over a decade earlier as a gift to the United States, representing the Roman goddess of freedom and celebrating American independence. But while Paris became the cultural capital of the world and its arts and literature flourished, there was also political and racial tension, anarchist groups, who saw nothing but Burgoyes the decadence in the uh, in the culture of cafes and cabarets such as the mull and rogue resorted to acts of terrorism soon a more widespread terror would put an end to this golden age as war once again gripped the continent find an underground exit you know the bell Epoque looks a lot right here cleaner than revolutionary paris don't you think that's it I'm reading a route through the metro station ahead. Oh shit. This area is becoming unstable. Whoa, look at the metro, man. Very cool. Fancy.
Well, that was fun. Whoa! Guess I gotta go this way. Give you little areas to like show off your parkour. Uh oh, this is cool too. Oh wait, 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 wait. I messed up. I'm so dead. Maybe not. I don't know how I made it through that. But I did. I thought I was dead for sure. I wasn't expecting that at all. That was interesting. There you are. There it is. You found the exit. Good. It's an unstable vortex of energy, so there's no telling how it will disrupt the simulation. Oh. Oh my God, I can feel the wind. All right, we need to get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. It looks like you'll have to climb Lady Liberty. She must have bled through from another time period. The French should have shipped her off to the States by now. That's weird. Whoa, what the? Just get to the portal. I'll do what I can to stop it from closing. See you on the other side. Jeez. That was cool. I like the little portals. Those are fun. And I got to see the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower in one episode. Cool. Tutorial Rift. so fortunate the first time through a bridge sometimes our initiates are trapped in the system and we have no choice but to send someone like you in to rescue them in fact one of our initiates is caught in a bellipox server right now if you're not too exhausted you can re-enter the bridge and rescue him all right back to work initiate earning money explore paris stories heists and risks to earn money better weapons and equipment will cost more money Oh, I can even filter things out. Cool. That's good to know. I do have some skill points here. Those are locked. Maybe I should level up my lock picking. You have to buy these with real? No. Health boost. But it's all timed.
Okay, I think I'm gonna use this sword for now. Maybe I can upgrade it. Arno's pistol. The guillotine guns look so cool. Okay, then. I'm actually going to go on the map here and see what else we got. We can filter out here. What's this? Bell Pock training. Let's go to that. Whoa, excuse me, sir. The chest here. I could definitely see Assassin's Creed 1 remade with this parkour system. Could be cool. going on here? Why is this red? I can buy it. Why not? I'm now in this social club. Two new social club contracts are now available. Somebody's following me. I mean, I had a lot of fun with the beautiful age portal. So if I get to do that again, I'm all for it. Even though I totally botched that train section, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Sometimes my mind gets really messed up with the whole free climb up or down situation. I guess when it's something that's low and straight, I think to still use the climb up, you know, when you should hit climb down or free run down. Glad you can make it. You have to free our agent and get to the exit portal. His original mission was to gather data from the Helix. So try what is to this? As much of it as possible. Whoa. Here's the data we've been looking for. Good. Our techs will start analyzing the data right away. That data is encrypted. You'll need to stand by it for a moment until I can access it. Okay. okay. Decrypting now. Done. Cool. All right. I'll need more data to find our operative. What? This is fire. Nice little parkour sections. I get some collectibles. Let's try going down here. There he is. You have to get him out of there. Free the assassin. But if I collect more data, I get a boost. I get a bonus. I want the bonus. Grab that. See, I'm not too bad, guys. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We don't have much time. 
another 50. Let me get a couple more tens and another 50. Where's a 50? Where's a 50? There's a 50. All right, come on, come on, come on. Get it. Let's go. You're running out of time. Oh, no, out of time. As much data as possible before you leave. I just did. This area is becoming unstable. The simulation is collapsing. Get out now. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm getting out of here. Very good. But there's more assassins to save and more data to find. Very fun. I'm gonna play the next one. Why not? Those are fun. Why can I not? Let's do it. As much data as you can, but remember to leave enough time to find the assassin. Good job. The more data we can get, the better. This data comes from deep within the helix. Well done. Wait. I think this data could really help us. Let's hope that contains something valuable. I know there was going to be guys around here trying to fight me. Oh yeah, they cooked with this, man. This is probably the best mini game I've played in any of the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> they definitely went in. Uh-oh. Oh, you saw that? You saw how my jump is? That's so cool. Whoa, bro. Oh, he died. What were you thinking? This one's encrypted. But that wind hits. Whoa. Stop that. Horson. This you data comes from deep within the helix. Well, they made this a lot more annoying with the uh, wind. Just kill him. Good job. Not much time now. Yeah, I see that. I'm gonna go this way though. Oof. I think this data could really help us. Where's the assassin? Is he above me? Good job. Another piece of the puzzle. Well done. We're gonna kill this guy too. What in the world was that, Arno? What's happening? Dang, we've already kind of like grabbed everything here. <gasps> I'm gonna mess up. Ten seconds left. I don't know where the assassin is. Five seconds. Crap! Two. He's up One. there. Operative locating. The simulation is breaking up. Crap. I can get him. I can get him. I got him. Good work. Alright, get out of here. Boy, you gotta move. Go, go, go. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That worried me just a little. Thanks to you. Enjoy the reward. Okay. We did it. Let's go back. Very fun. I would play that a thousand more times. 
I feel like this is what I kind of wanted when it came to like side quests. Like I feel like Assassin's Creed 4 was too much of a collect-a-thon. Like I'm not saying that this game's not because obviously there's a lot to collect and a lot to do. But that's the thing is like it feels like there's more to do. You know what I mean? Like more variety. It's not just like walk here, walk there, swim down here. Um, murder mystery. That sounds fun. It's a good way this way. Oh, this is a dead end. Excuse me, sir. Oh, yay. Extremists. That's three times this month. I gotta eat. You gotta feed me. Works out. Shut it. What do you want? A lot of crime going on. Need help? I've got things well under control. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what about all the murders you never solve? I said shut it, Vidoc. Think about it. He solves them. You get the credit. Why not? Solve a murder, I'll give you a weapon out of the bin. Awesome. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have more important things to do. Oh, yeah, take a nap. Sure. Mm-hmm. Fine. Hey. I know the streets. I can help you out. Why would you? Because that stinking stupid pig of a police minister doesn't have the stinking stupid sense to do anything that might give even a grifter like me hope that someday, someday, this city might not be a shitty place to live. And because I'm bored out my bloody mind! Oh, for the love of God, Vidoc, shush! Born in 1775, Vidoc was but a lad during the French Revolution. He spent his youth as a petty thief and was frequently in jail. However, his association with thieves was to prove beneficial by the Napoleonic era. He was working as an informant for the police and eventually became a policeman himself. Nice. They usually say crime doesn't pay. For this fellow, it not only paid, but came with a pension and medical. In fact, he was one of the forefathers of the deductive method of crime solving and founded a unit that grew to become the Surette, France's premier crime fighting organization. He always worked both sides of the law, but his criminal friends proved invaluable to him as a detective. Nice. Don't be lazy. Go there and look for more clues. Review your case file. Use your head. Which suspect had the ability, means, and motive? When you know that only one subject could have done the crime, okay. You want to solve crimes, you can't just wander around and throw the first suspicious person you meet into jail. Well, you can, but you'll always, but you'll almost always get the wrong person. Look, you're going to have to get serious and have a comprehensive system to sort out who did it, why, and how. I'm going to make it easy for you and list the basics here. Read those over, then go out and nab the murderer. Everything you discover will be kept in a case file. Look there to review what you've learned. Examine all clues and speak to all witnesses. Use your eyes and ears. Some clues will lead you to new places. Don't be lazy. Go there and look for more clues. Review your case file. Yep, I read that earlier. When you know that only one suspect could have done the crime, return to the murder and accuse them. Something kind of creepy about monks. Closed up like that in a big building. Sometimes that's hard on people. 
Better check out the monastery here on the island, though. Oh no 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 no! Whoa, that's a lot of swords being drawn. Bye. Let's see if we can solve this mystery. I love murder mysteries, man. They're so much fun. Oh, down. Yeah. Can't go down from here? Upstairs. A dead monk, Friar Jean, strangled with a strand of rosary beads. He appears to have fallen from his chair while writing at his desk. Move that thing. Oh my god, there's so many things popping up. Move out of the way. Clenched in the monk's dead fist is a crumpled bit of paper, apparently torn from a diary. It reads, Guilty! I have poisoned them. He claimed it was God's will that I do so because of the predict- What the heck was that? The prediction, but I cannot escape my guilt. I am a murderer. I must confess everything right this minute before the note is unfinished. Did you see that? It looked like somebody like- Oh, this guy laid down, I think. Like, what the heck? Personal effects. Also at the bottom of the chest, a single page torn from a book. The seven branches will be reduced to three. The elder one surprised by death. The two seduced to fratricide. The conspirators will die as they sleep. Nostradamus. Body of Friar Benoit, an older monk lying dead in his bed. His features are sallow and his face is ashen gray. Dear Lord, Friars Stanislas, Bernard, and even the respected Friar Benoit, and then Friar Jean, all dead. It passeth all understanding. Three monks survive, praise God, but. I dare not think. Is it possible that the murderer is one of them? Bah, ridiculous. Which of them would be capable of such an atrocity? Good question. An older monk lying dead in his bed. Okay. Okay, this is property of another friar. Personal effects of note is an enormous book filled with intriguing quatrains. The prophecy is by Nostradamus. All right, that's kind of suspect. So much happened. First the 
the death of the elder monks. Friar Jean served them wine, and they immediately became very tired. Oh, did he? They went to bed and couldn't be roused. I ran to the doctor. When I came back, what did I find? They were all dead. And there's Friar Jean strangled at his desk. Was it a... S I don't know. I know it sounds like Friar John took everyone out. A fire here in the vineyard. Well, I yelled at him to get on out of there and he ran off. Oh, wait, he's burning something. What was that? Poison the cask of wine, but I served it. Oh, it is him. If he knew that I'm about to confess, he would not hesitate to murder me himself. Oh, curse the day the prediction of Nostradamus ever came into honore's possession he is quite mad and he has driven me to madness but i am it's seeming like it was john that did it oh never mind look what's this i am very worried about joseph honore. he and friar jean were quite close i fear jean's murder has affected honore's sanity understood by mortal man. We search and pray and do the best we can. Small hints can be discerned, say, in the writings of prophets. I believe Nostradamus is one. Hmm. Interesting. God's will cannot be... Let's look at everything. I think it's Honore. Because now that I look at it, what he just said was pretty suspicious. On top of that, he owns a book, The Prophecies by Nostradamus. Here he said, poisoned the cask of wine, but I served it. If he knew that I'm about to confess, he would not hesitate to murder me himself. Oh, curse the day the predictions of Nostradamus ever came into Honore's possession. He is quite mad and he has driven me to madness, but I am. I'm gonna go ahead and accuse him. I think it's him for sure. This one was easy. God's will cannot be understood. God's will cannot be understood by mortal man. Okay, I just have to hold B to accuse him. Hopefully this is right. Small hints. The conspirators were foretold to die in their sleep. Jean was victim of a fratricide. Is it murder to fulfill a prophecy? Yes, it is, sir. And you're going to jail. You are definitely going to jail. It's all I knew it was him. I tell you, even this. Wake up. He's a bit of his nuts, if you ask me. Arrest the madman. Nine times out of ten, you're right. Go ahead. He was crazy. No false accusations, baby. I told you I love me a good murder mystery. This is what I'm here for. That one was easy though. That one wasn't like, I wasn't sweating that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like smashing the select button here. Now I'm going to this next quest over here. It's a companion mission. I think I'll do another main quest right after this one. Very smooth. Oh, I'm going to get him. This should be easy. Nice. Let's get out of here. Got some big bucks for that too. Maybe I can uh, customize a little. Not really. 
Oh yeah, this does change you, change you, depending on which hood you use and such like that. Some of them give you more health. Some of them give you more stealth. I think I'm all about the stealth, to be honest, rather than the health. Yeah. Let's go with the stealth. That looks good. Because if you're good at parrying, you don't really need to, you don't have to care about health, really. Health is nothing. When I can go full stealth mode and never be seen. Then I don't have to worry about attacking. Now getting melee up? That might be smart. Yeah, I want something kind of like, you know, that looks nice. Brings up my range a little bit too. And you can just do like full outfits too. Okay, I'll do a little bit of health here. Let's see what the full outfits are. Oh, nice. I kind of like him having the, uh, the robe though. He looks kind of naked like this. TBH. I might change this, but my level did go up as you guys can see, which is good. What if I put Okay, I still get the stats and stuff. Yeah, it looks like I keep the stats. Cool. As long as I get to keep the benefits, I'm cool with that. Let's see what this mission has to offer us. Hello. I don't really need anything. I just spent a ton of money. I'm sorry, sir. Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling him the penitent. I take it justice has been done. Not entirely. Siver had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de la Serre's murder. He struck the killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. That's not good. I can find him. Siver met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. Okay. So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand then? The Phantom Blade. A modest little update from the... What does this do? Assassin's Blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then. Assassin, this council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi d'Etudes. 
learn his secrets, and bring him peace. I can definitely do that. All right, so press left on the D-pad to select a Phantom Blade. When equipped, press LB to quick shot, hold LB to aim, and press RT to shoot. Berserk Blades will make your enemies attack their allies. You can buy new blades in shops. Ooh, okay. That's definitely nice. Are you friend? Hello. Let me get out of here. I want to check out my Phantom Blade. No, thank you, sir. Which way do I need to go? Oh, this way. Sorry, I got really excited. I was like, I want to parkour. Back of the thief. I got you. I'm glad they brought that back, but it's more like subtle. They don't make it like as much of a big deal as they did in the other games. I'm gonna have to go across the bridge. So fun. Well, it makes me happy to see you here today, citizen. I say. No, no, no. You know what? That's fine. No. I screwed it up. I missed it. Dang it. I wanted to use my uh, phantom blade there. Oh, everybody saw that. <laughs> like, oh, crap. Get out of the way. Can this assassin swim? I'm scared to try, but let's try. Oh, he can. Arno swimming check. All right, guys, we're getting really close to where we need to be. You know, it's really nice to not have to rely on a vehicle. Like, I feel like I'm an assassin again. <laughs> And I feel like this is the game that kind of like brings it back to that stealth, you know? I feel like the last game, the last few games I played of Assassin's Creed felt like action games, like strictly action. Where I'm like, ah, I miss the stealth. You have so many ways to stealth in this game. So many uh, tools to your disposal. Brings me back to like Assassin's Creed 2 and Revelations and Brotherhood. Look at Paris. Beautiful. One day I'll visit. As an American, Paris, France is like one of those places you always hear bad things about. But I don't really listen to what people have to say, especially Americans. 
Americans think everything is horrible. That's not America. <laughs> yeah, I never hear good things about Paris. People always trash on it on like TikTok and even some of my friends that have been there who are American. The kingdom of beggars. Let's do this. We get to investigate. Yay. That's my favorite thing to do. Let me tell you. Are these bad guys? No. Oh, these are bad guys up ahead. I'm gonna try going this way. I think somebody said the best way to exit cover is... Oh, like that? It kind of screwed me up though. Where am I? I'm stuck on something. You get caught on the smallest stuff if you're like in stealth mode. Oh, over there. Excuse me. I just want to listen in on what's going on in there. I see what I have to do. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look. <laughs> this guy, what the heck? <sighs> Lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Tunes sees in that bit of trivia an opportunity to motivate his less successful oh. employees yeah that sure has lost a foot now you can charge in there cause a great disturbance and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king either way that man has lost a foot. It's done. Oof. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now, oh, Arno. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. 
And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse François, Marquis de Sade. Beautiful name. When you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Chad was born in 1740. He came from a typical noble French family full of soldiers and clergymen and entered the army at the age of 14. Apparently, he didn't find it to his liking because he left at the age of 31. The Saad was the quintessential black sheep, an atheist and great lover of the performing arts. He was above all a libertine and used his family's wealth and influence to get away with an astonishing array of crimes. Lucky that can never happen nowadays. Yeah, of course not. No, not at all, Sean. It's a telling symptom of the ancient regime's corruption that he was considered merely a scandalous figure and not a violent criminal. Much of his adult life was spent shuffled between different prisons where he wrote numerous texts, nearly all of which were deemed obscene and heavily censored. He was liberated in 1790 and, sensing the change that was in the air, renounced his title and got himself elected to the convention. He continued to write in the same P-word vein while simultaneously pardoning nearly every criminal sent before him. I had a headmaster a little like that for a while. His governmental tenure was short-lived. In late 1793, openly critical of Rose Pierre, he was arrested for moder moderatism and imprisoned for a year. He never rejoined the political sphere and in 1801, under Napoleon's orders, he was arrested once again and sent to prison where he would remain until his death in 1814, having outlived a monarchy, a revolution, and an empire. Still, at least he had his naughty writing to keep him warm at night. Well, that's good. I'm sure that was fun for him. Hello. All right, we got to follow him. Get back. Oh, somebody sees me. There it is. Monsieur Latouche, still bringing medical care to the disenfranchised? Your day will come, Liberty. Rather sooner than you think, I'm sure. Looks like he's going in there. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm losing them, I'm losing them, I'm losing them. Whoa, 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 there's a lot of guys down there. He's right there. There's a window. There he is. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. So many people see me everywhere. I remember the man screams now long they last. And that was for an accountant error. You're joking. I thought he skimmed up the take or something. Nope. He misplaced a one in a ledger. Right. Double time it is. That's not good. 
Rotten fruit. I don't want that. At least the game doesn't like end the mission because the time ran out. Because you don't have eyes on him. Glad they changed that. Get him inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside. That's terrible. Why do that to him? A tax assessor during the reign of Louis the 16th. Cuchet seemed destined for a life of middle class mediocrity. He was a tax assessor. He only had himself to blame. Records indicate that he was dismissed from his post amidst charges of bribery and unable to find further employment. He sank into obscurity. Better this than the king's modifications. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. Dude, that thing is so cool. Uh oh, that might alert a lot of people. Or maybe not. Oh, I can't shoot him from here. There is a thing down there that I can grab. Okay, we got to be really careful right here. in the window the order for the unfortunate in bed six horribly burned in a fire that killed his family and drove him mad a burn job do you know how hard those are to get right without burning off the district to ash lose a few drops of the strong acid layman can't tell the difference that sounds terrible Oh my God. I don't think so. Making so much noise. And I'll spare you your life. The car comes. He's in the car comes, but he failed church. Latouche. I expected a stronger spine than yours. What will your master say? Oh, God. Lord, help me. Very scary, man. Those screams are going to be in my nightmares tonight. Get him, boys. Nice. Look at 
look at that. There's side quests over here. Let's do them. Oh, my chest is full. Oh, check this place out. Everyone's dancing and getting it. They even have a fire breather over there. A brush. At least we got some cherry bombs. That's nice. There should be another viewpoint around. Oh yeah, it's over here. Dude, Arno is so fast. Look at this. Oh, that was nice. Very fun. Oh, we need to go over there. Uh, go down. We definitely have to be careful here. Archive. I wonder how many side quests this game has. Seems like there's a lot. Can I go up from here? Yeah. Doesn't get any better than this. They should remake this game. They should have they should have remade this game instead of four. Like I know they want to remake four, but I feel like this game would do pretty good. Like if they actually gave it the proper amount of development time and resources. But then they'd have to live up to the modding community because the modding community has already kind of like made this version of the game like better. And it seems like anytime a company has to do that, they kind of flop. So maybe they shouldn't remake this game. <laughs> maybe it's one of those things where you just got to leave it be. Is that it? Hey. 
Got so much money. There should be another viewpoint around here that I didn't get. Oh, I'm over here. That is cool that since we can walk around using Eagle Vision, they added a cooldown so it's not like super overpowered. Because they would be pretty much cheating if you could just run around unlimited using your Eagle Vision. You could just spam it like a bunch of times. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Bro, loot. There you go. Stinky clog. I'm glad I looted that off of his dead body. Another viewpoint. It's so nice that he can scale rooftops like that. It's kind of satisfying to watch him do <laughs> for some weird reason. Let's do some side quests here. What is this right here? Defend a grieving mother as she attempts to return with the memento of her murdered son. Absolutely. Oh my god, she pulled out a sword. That is insane. On oh, button. Oh my god, they're shooting her. Dear Lord. I right, give her to him. Ah, they keep shooting her point blank range. Dude, she's getting cooked over here. She ate bullets, man. Don't go over there towards them. Ah. Oh my God, look at the blood on her. Jeez Louise. Oh, 
Come on, girl. Look at that guy's body. It's all mangled. Dang, walk faster. What's going on here? Why are you walking so slow? At this rate, we're going to be there tomorrow. I don't th Ooh, what a clean animation there. He might have the coolest hidden blade attacks, man. I'm telling you. I thought Connors were cool. I mean, we got to give it to her. She's kind of holding her own a little bit. Come on, girl, move. <laughs> Snail's pace, baby. Snail's pace. We're probably gonna have to fight those guys. Or people blend in so well here, man. Sometimes it's hard to see who the enemy is. You gotta really utilize your map in this game compared to the other games. This has got to be one of the worst escort missions. Hey, this, is, this is terrible. And if I die here and I have to redo it, I'm going to be, I'm going to cry. I'm legit going to cry. It is so slow. Can he not fight with the hidden blade? What is she's pulling out a gun? Damn, come on. It said this was a level one difficulty mission. I think it did. It's either level one or two. Are we almost there? Oh, please tell me this is it. Oh, crap, they're coming. Ah, oh, man, there's more coming. Big guy, big guy. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Why? You don't need to. It's all the way over here. Oh, my. Oh, what are you? All right. What did we accomplish? Ma'am, what did we accomplish? Oh, my dear Lord. I will never do a mission like this ever again. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to 
have PTSD. I swear I am. I guess I need to kill these guys because she's just going to aggro into them. It's going to be a whole thing. But why are these things showing up so much? Go away. Ma'am, please just walk, ma'am. Please. Vous avez toute ma reconnaissance. Mille merci. Ma'am, can we walk faster? <laughs> what is really going on? This better be your house right here. You can't be serious. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, here you are. At least I have something to remember him by. May he rest in peace. Dear God. Whoever created that mission. I hope you never make another mission in an Assassin's Creed game ever again. That was that was bad. That was so bad. Like, I don't mind taking my time on things like that's fine. But. When the NPC is literally aggroing on everything and they move slow. That's an issue. And then like the frequency of like some of the like pickpocketing and all the other like side quests is kind of nuts. Like I feel like it shouldn't be that frequent. Oh man. Oh, I can't go up from here. Oh yeah, I can. Absolutely crazy. I need to know if you guys did that mission. Let me know in the comment section, please. I need to know if you ran into that mission while you were playing this game. That was wild. Oh no. Wrong button. Oh, there it is. It worked out because I got this chest. And then her health bar was low, so I was like, I didn't want to just, you know, do all of the random people who were around, like, kill them or whatever. Because I was like, well, if I initiate combat, then she'll run into combat and then have the possibility of her dying. Dude, if I would have failed that mission, I would have cried. <laughs> I would have been really upset. Let's do bombs. Yeah, stun grenade sounds nice. Whoa, you can do that? Did you guys see that? Bro, you can literally jump from up high and in midair drop a smoke bomb. 
That's fire. That's something that you would have never been able to do in an Assassin's Creed game. Like the older games, you kind of have to do things like kind of one at a time. Like if you're locked in an animation, you can't really do anything else. But to see that happen right there, I want to try that again. Should I do it again? Let's try it again. Let me try it. Yeah, it's almost as if you can do that anytime you want. That could also be because of the mods though, too. Probably ACU fixes. So if you saw me do that right now, it, that might not be in the base game. We gotta go up. Yeah, shut up. The, sh the chase theme is great. Okay. I think we could do this. I get an officer's pistol for this. Hopefully it's good. Piss off you lot. We're going to assassinate somebody again, huh? No unique assassination this time. 54 guards. That's a lot. A whole lot. I see that one. Is there another one somewhere? To say the least. I'll knock your brains out. No further. Oh, they saw me. Oh, they saw me again. I think I lost him now. Should be able to sabotage now, right? Cool. We will open fire. Bastards! Where 
Where's the other one, though? Oh, here it is. This has got to be it. That should smoke them out. to kill those guys and defend the beggars I was clean Oh wait. Oh, I gotta, I gotta keep defending them. I thought it was just right there that I had to. I gotta help him out here. Oh, the reload on that is crazy. Okay, the way I executed that reminded me of old school Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 2. Combat's very fun in this game, man. Alright, let's grab this. We got this over here. Pretty sure I got to go down there. upstairs. Okay, we're good. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I executed that really well. All right. That's wonky, but I did it. guy over there oh my god look at the corpses right here jeez so much death Okay. 
<laughs> Dude, this game makes you feel so good. I definitely feel like an assassin in this one. is nearby and that, that you are his intended target the worm has grown a spine now he's a snake damn it was only a matter of time i knew that much this is what in the mad hatter is that we oui, my lord the, the um, assassins are uh well connected but we have the advantage now don't we muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin bring me his head Let's see how this works in this game. They have way more health in this game, so like he might actually go in. He's not really doing much though. He's doing a whole lot of dying. Stay together, men. Darn it. Whoa, he just started shooting. Where was he going? He didn't drop it down like I wanted him to. Kill him, kill him. Maybe not. He's through there. Oh, now you're snitching. That's very embarrassing. Somebody sees me? I don't know, but I'm about to. Oh, it put me in a cutscene. Happened to Billy is last agent. Whoa. 
Billy's last apprentice brought me the most Jesus. I do hope you have something to compare. Siaba. Ah! I died. That guy had a gun over there in the corner. There's nowhere else I can go. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, I can go up from here. Oh, shoot. Alright, we're gonna try to kind of like sneak over there to him the best that we can, even though we're exposed right now. What the heck was that? Oh, shoot. Dummy. Nice. I just parkour over to him. Everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the order. What knowledge could a king of the gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats. Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sibir, come away! Oh, I see. It's done. Delacere is dead. Grandmaster. Good. Wow, we saw a lot right there. I see what you see now, Arno. Okay, no, I don't want to do this. No. Is that Ezio's family playing in the back? Ain't no way. Oh, you can't. This is good for me. He's dead. Wait, was he a... Oh, I see. It's showing you... What's burning. get up there nice even the escape is fun Ah, the 
way that guy was chasing her. Ah, you're just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign. As long as there's a cour des miracles, we must have a roi des tunes. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed. King of the beggars. Cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at La Cour des Miracles, you used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. <laughs> kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? Hey, yo, what the heck was that? Oh. Is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed all that rot? Rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, a rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. Is that why the goat's here? So young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? Well, where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything you could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. <laughs> Perhaps. All right then, sir. His name is Francois Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near Leal. Thank you. Bon chance. She doesn't look so good. Anyways, I got the officer's pistol. Nice. Thank you guys so much for watching Assassin's Creed Unity. I think I'm going to end the episode here. I truly appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. This was a very fun episode and I can't wait to unravel more. The story is pretty good. I think I'm more in love with the combat and the stealth. I think that's where this game really shines. Um, the gameplay in this game is just fantastic. Like I couldn't ask for anything more than this. Like this is the gameplay that I've wanted since the beginning pretty much. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.